Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for being upset that my husband secretly recorded our argument. I, 26, and my husband, 28, am, have a one year old daughter named May. I am currently expecting our second child. I don't believe I'm at fault, but I acknowledge that this pregnancy is impacting my emotions. It's possible that I'm not seeing things clearly and that it's not such a big issue after all. To sum it up, my husband frequently perceives me as angry or annoyed when I'm not. This really upsets me. For example, when my husband was sitting on the couch watching F1, I told him, okay, it's time for May to take a bath, if you want to watch the race till the end, it's fine, but it's pretty late, so May and I are going upstairs now. I wasn't upset, irritated, or trying to be confrontational. I was simply informing him that this time we wouldn't wait, just a few minutes until the race was over. Immediately, he hugged our daughter and said, see how angry mommy is? Don't worry, baby, I will protect you. Another time I asked him if he could unload the dishwasher while I folded some laundry. His response was, Jesus, why are you so annoyed already? The events that occurred today seem unbelievable to me due to how they spiraled out of control. I attempted to redirect our robot vacuum to another room, but may close the door. I casually mentioned, you didn't have to close the door. I tried to guide the vacuum in the right direction, but it was too late, and it returned to the charging station. I sighed and started searching for my phone while commenting that I didn't know where I'd placed it. At this point, my husband chimed in, why are you always getting upset over trivial matters? I assured him I wasn't angry and requested him to desist from calling me that when I was not visibly upset. This led to a discussion during which he chuckled and repeatedly insisted that I should maintain positive energy, which started to frustrate me. I expressed my exhaustion at his tendency to portray me as emotionally unstable and to stop admonishing me for raising my voice at May when I simply set a clear boundary, I rarely raise my voice at her and never resort to physical discipline. I recounted the instances mentioned earlier to which he remarked, you're such an actress I'll record you. He aimed his phone's camera at me. It was absurd and it was apparent that he did it just to mock me, so I left the room while he chuckled and conversed with May about how mommy preferred to seclude herself rather than face her behavior. I returned about two minutes later. He still had his phone in hand, as he does most of the day, so I didn't think much of it. I began tidying up the kitchen while calmly continuing our discussion. Then I noticed his phone was positioned oddly, so I inquired if he was recording me. He began laughing and confirmed that he was. At that point, I burst into tears. I hadn't said or done anything to be ashamed of during his recording, but I felt embarrassed and disrespected. He remarked that I had no sense of humor, to which I retorted that it wasn't amusing. I left him with May to sit in my car for a while. He called after me to just calm down and come back. He believes I overreacted. Do you think I did? The general consensus was that he is emotionally abusive, and I believe that he is, but not the way he used to be. I have been with this man since we were both teenagers, and things have been great for more than five years. After we got married and he switched jobs, he became a completely different person, indifferent, ignoring me rolling his eyes whenever I opened my mouth, undermining my education and intelligence, making constant jokes at my expense. And when I asked him to stop, I was too sensitive and couldn't take a joke. Dead bedroom and mocking me whenever I tried to initiate. I stopped once he outright laughed at me. I tried everything to be the perfect wife, but nothing worked to get his positive attention. It probably wouldn't do the damage it did if it wasn't for the lockdown, and him being the only person I had contact with. I was left with no self-esteem and too scared to leave because no one would ever want me and I would be left alone without any chance of having a family. I tried to get him to couples therapy, but wasn't successful to this day. But things slowly got better once I turned my focus from him to myself and started to build myself again. He stopped with his jokes slash insults, started listening when I spoke, and started to respect me a bit. Our daughter was conceived on a vacation when everything seemed back to normal, but as soon as the severe morning sickness hit, he made sure to avoid me. I didn't know whether I would be a single mother until I gave birth, after both me and I almost died during labor, he finally stepped up and has been a great father and even a loving husband. Yes, discussing anything with him is impossible because he is always right and doesn't care about anyone else's opinion. He still has the urge to joke sometimes. But most of the time we get along well, we are friends again, having fun together. I learn to advocate for myself and call him out after talking to my husband. In my original post, I probably made that kind of behavior seem like a daily occurrence, but it is just something that happens repeatedly over some period of time. Apart from that, we have a reasonably happy family life. He is a good guy overall, always there to help anyone in need. Smart as hell, hardworking and providing for us. Our marriage is not very healthy, but I love him, we are good friends, and he is a great father.
So, the update, in the evening after the event, I sat my husband down and tried to talk to him about what happened. It wasn't very pleasant, and I had to stop his movie multiple times because he just rolled his eyes, told me I always come up with some bullshit and turned back to TV. But I didn't give up and ignored his smirks and remarks about how I make things up in my head, how I twist his words beyond recognition, and how I have no sense of humor. When he threw in the casual calm down, I just started laughing and asked him if he was serious. We got to the point when he finally let the shit go and talked seriously. I asked him if I truly came across as angry. He said I do. I tried to explain that I have more emotions than happiness and anger, and that I was just tired during the, I'll protect you incident, so I may have seemed blunt. He started laughing, and then my tiredness showed in a weird way. I asked if there was any way I could help him recognize my emotions better, and he said I should smile more. So I guess this is a lost cause lol. I asked him about his side of yesterday's story. I roll my eyes and sigh, all the time and radiate negative energy. I do not raise my voice, but it is about the tone. I always overreact over little things and start to complain. I supposedly slammed the door two times yesterday before he said anything. Eh. He wanted to record me to show me the face I make. To comment on this I get angry sometimes of course, and sometimes I have a shitty mood the whole day, but the point is that I think I am pretty aware of how I feel and act, and I own up to it. Surprisingly, he never points out that I am angry when I am actually angry, I am the one calling myself out. So yeah, people saying I am downplaying how I act are partially right. But I didn't see how sometimes being angry is connected to being called angry when I am not. But if my husband cannot differentiate between me being neutral slash tired and angry, the whole thing makes a lot more sense, and he must be thinking that he lives with an insufferable BKCH, since this pregnancy makes me exhausted. It makes much more sense than living my life and hearing how angry I am out of nowhere lol. Then we talked about how he spoke about me with May according to him, that was just a joke, and even she could tell because she had a sense of humor, unlike me I take myself too seriously, need to lighten up, and wouldn't survive a day in his office. I told him I don't care what type of humor goes around in his office. He is my husband and shouldn't want to do things that hurt me. We stuck on this for a long time, and he refused to stop, but I told him that this was a deal breaker for me, and that I would not tolerate it. We touched on what would happen if we separated. I asked him if he would want full custody. He said that, of course he would, but he would never separate me from me. He would let me have full custody and support me anyhow he could. So no, there is no grand scheme to take her from me and make me seem crazy in front of others. I truly don't believe he made the recording for a different reason than to put it on TV and stop in the moment I made some unappealing face to make fun of me. He is not an active contributor on social media. And there is no putting ideas in the heads of our family or friends. His family usually scolded him for never being home with us so they would rather take my side. Conclusion I will not divorce him now, but thank you to all who are concerned about May and me, I will certainly read the book many of you recommended and try to educate myself on the topics. I will also try to educate myself on effective communication skills. I know he is gaslighting me often, mainly by changing the scenarios of past events. But the thing is that it never escalated. The emotional abuse appeared out of nowhere four years ago, and has gotten better month by month since then. Am I naive to hope for better times? Maybe. But I know how inferior I felt four years ago, and how confident I am now. I can see through his bullshit most of the time okay, yesterday was rough, but I feel it would have a completely different outcome today. Has anyone ever worked through this? Although I still think that his calling me angry was at least partially intentional, I will try to speak in a more pleasant tone when I am tired and sigh less. I will also work on not getting pressed by being called angry. I will stay cautious, and if I conclude we would be better off alone, I will file for divorce. If I sense any kind of danger, we will leave immediately, but I doubt that. I know we will be fine either way. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.